Uh, Dr. Williams actually came to us through the heart failure uh, service. And uh, at that time, we started evaluating him for his um, heart failure symptoms and his admissions to the hospital. And his workup led us to find that uh, his heart was failing and his heart function was down and he was suffering from amyloidosis. And uh, uh, we presented him at the multidisciplinary selection meeting to find what other options are available for Dr. Williams. And at that time, um, the team uh, agreed that the natural progression of this disease would mean that we should work him up for a heart and liver transplant. At that point, uh, we referred to our, our liver team, who is um, one of the most experienced teams in the United States, and uh, they evaluated the, um, Mr. D Dr. Williams from the point of view of doing a heart-liver combined. Um, th these transplants, multi-organ transplants, are always very complex and complicated. Um, that it has to be a very good line of communication, and uh, uh, two teams have to work in conjunction uh, like two hands uh, of a symphony player. And uh, um, a lot of uh, uh, meetings happened that kind of found that he would be a good candidate for a combined heart to liver. So we all sat down together, uh, combined groups uh, in a meeting room, and we ironed out all of the potential issues. Um, at Oxnard, we believe that we should have a plan A and a plan B and a plan C. And we came up with all the different scenarios uh, all the different permutations that could come up and brainstormed and found solutions for all. A heart liver transplant uh, is unique in the sense that there are not a lot of patients that uh, need uh, these two organs. Uh, patients either need a liver transplant or a heart transplant, but a very few select patients would benefit from both. Um, the complexity of these cases arise because being very few numbers that are done annually throughout the United States, uh, very low uh, centers have uh, that experience. Fortunately at Oxner uh, we have surgeons and cardiologists and hepatologists that have had uh, trainings from the best centers in the world and they bring those resources to Oxner. and as a result we were able to do this.